Hello Painting with a Purpose friends. We're gonna do another cute little Halloween painting really quick before October's over. So the colors that you're gonna need are yellow orange, this is black, this is a dark purple, this is a dark blue, white, two different shades of green, and I've got a little bit of that teal up there that we're gonna use. The paint brushes you will need are my favorite, the two inch flat brush, a medium flat brush, and then you're gonna need a medium and small round brush. To get started, don't forget your paint cloth and your water cup. All right, to get started, let's go ahead and start with our two inch brush and <clears throat> your light green. And we're gonna draw a line about a third of the way up. Everything below there is gonna be that light green. All right, now we're gonna put that two inch brush in your water cup. We will probably be using it again. Um, but now we're gonna go to our medium round brush and our yellow paint. So up in the top left-hand corner of your canvas, we're gonna do a crescent moon. Something. There we go. So just right up here in this space, make the letter C. And then you're gonna start from that point. It's gonna get thicker in the middle. And then it's gonna go back down to the other point and just fill that in. your crescent moon you're going to wipe that off your brush and with your flat brush your small flat brush you're gonna come in with some teal and you're gonna make a circle around your moon Just kind of wipe that off and with your dark blue we're going to fill in everything from the green and up and i'm going to follow the circle on the moon
I'm going to set that brush to the side. I'm going to get back out my two inch brush. Make sure that green is all off. And I'm going to finish the blue with my two inch brush just because it goes a little bit faster and you don't have those brush strokes. You're gonna come almost down to the green and then you're, no need to wipe the blue off, but you're gonna dip it in your dark purple and you're gonna finish it off with the purple. So with that purple, that's when you run it right along the green. Go right over that blue and purple line. I'm gonna wipe the purple off. I'm gonna go back to the blue and I'm gonna drag that blue over that purple line. Now we are finished with your two inch brush and you can rinse your smaller flat brush, wipe all the blue off, and we're gonna come back with that teal along that blue line. So half on the blue and half on the teal. I'm gonna wipe it, I'm gonna do it again get that teal on my brush and I'm gonna go half on the blue half on the teal I'm gonna rinse it again. Pick up some more, <clears throat> excuse me, of the teal. And run it along that line again. You've gotta keep wiping the blue off because it's such a dark color. I'm gonna come in with just a teeny tiny bit of blue inside here. Not a lot. And then I'm gonna come on the outside and add a few teal lines in that blue. All right, now we have to let our background dry. Background is dry. I want you to grab your small flat brush and we're going to do our pumpkin. So go to your orange. And we're gonna put a cat in our pumpkin. So you wanna leave plenty of room for your little cat and his little hat. So make sure that your pumpkin's sitting pretty low in your grass. 
and we're gonna add some texture stuff to our grass too so no worries if your line is not super clean across there we're gonna make it look great so again start with your parentheses and then add another set and just fill that in. Wipe the excess paint off of your brush and with a little bit of black, not a lot, we're gonna add our pumpkin lines. Okay, make sure the black is all wiped off and with your yellow we're going to add some highlights. Once you have your pumpkin the way that you like it, go ahead and put that brush in your water cup. We're gonna be using it again, but that way the paint doesn't dry. And we're gonna start with your, um, your medium round brush, and we're gonna come in with your dark green. And this is where we're gonna just start adding texture to your grass. So you're just gonna, we're gonna layer. Once you've had some of your dark green on there, go back to your light green. go back with my dark green not really wiping my brush or anything just adding some layers and some textures Once you have your grass the way you like it, go ahead and rinse that brush off and set it to the side. We're gonna give our pumpkin a few more minutes to dry before we do our cute little kitty cat. 
pumpkin is dry, grab your small flat brush out of your water and dip it in the black paint. And we're just gonna draw a kitty head right here at the top of our pumpkin. Don't make him so big, you wanna keep it smaller than your pumpkin so that it's proportionate and you wanna make sure that you leave space for your witch hat. black off really 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 good we just drew a line we'll fill it in in just a minute once you have your black rinsed off really good get that light green on the edge of your brush and we're gonna make two green glowing circles right about here remember to make a circle you keep that inside edge stationary and you just pivot the outside edge They're not perfect, but we're gonna add black around them and in them, so they will, it'll be okay. All right, go ahead and wipe that green off, and we're gonna finish filling in. little circle ones. We're going to let his eyes dry. You can put that small flat brush in your water bucket and then we'll finish him up and add a hat. Our kitty cat is good and dry. So with your very small round brush we're gonna come in and finish his eyes with black so they're gonna look he's gonna come down here you're basically gonna draw another circle inside his eyes I'm using this small brush and it's gonna take a lot of time but I want to make sure that that green is looking like a moon
All right, there are his kitty cat eyes. Rinse that black off. You're gonna add a little dot of white. On the outsides and then All right, now for his hat. Set that small brush aside, we're gonna use it again. Grab your flat brush out of your water bucket. And I'm gonna do a purple hat. You guys can do a green hat, you can do an orange hat. It's completely up to you. I wanted to do a purple hat. And so the hat just, the brim comes right across. I'm actually going to end up lightening up this purple, but let's get the hat outline first. white and just go over that purple. See how it just lightens it up? dark purple we're gonna come back in and put a line where the hat meets the brim So I did not wipe the purple off. Just got a tiny bit of black. Now I'm gonna wipe my brush and with a little bit of black, I'm gonna come in here, kind of outline, put a crease. And then I'm gonna wipe the black off. Make sure that black is good and wiped off. And with white, I'm gonna come in across this bottom edge. Just a little bit. All right, so there's his cute little hat. Let's finish him up. So with your small round brush, and your black, we're gonna make him look kind of fluffy. So we're just gonna kind of come out from the edge and do little wisps like he's a fluffy kitty.
With your white, you're gonna give him a little bit of a nose. It's just like a little V between his eyes. And then from there, kind of wise down just a little. He gets a little kitty mouth. And then you're just gonna add some whiskers. You can also add some little stars to his hat. So with your same small brush, just make a little X and then a cross through. stuff to the sky so with your white we're just going to kind of continue some of these white streaks and looks bare and then with your little bit of teal you can come in and add some more teal through the sky that looks much better all right, guys, we're all finished. Have fun painting. Can't wait to see what you create.